Thank you very much, Mateo. I'll, I'll do this in, uh, in English. Um, uh, but thank you very much for the warm welcome. It's great to be here at Expo. I want to congratulate you on running such a, a brilliant Expo. And I'm very proud of the fact we've got such a strong British pavilion, which I'm looking forward to uh, visiting in a moment or two with you, uh, Mateo. Uh, we've had very good discussions here today, obviously about the close relationship that Britain and Italy have, the important bilateral relationship, but also discussing those two issues that you mentioned. Uh, the importance of reform and change in Europe, where I think we do have some common perspectives and some common ideas on the need for competitiveness, for flexibility. We discussed those, and that was very welcome. But we also discussed the crisis of migration in the Mediterranean, where we absolutely recognise that this is something where all of Europe needs to work together on. Uh, Britain is playing its part, not only with the activities of the Royal Navy in the Mediterranean, but also with our very large aid programme uh, in North Africa and in the Horn of Africa, which we're increasing at the moment to try and help stabilise those countries. And we would agree with you that we need a comprehensive approach, a comprehensive approach that sees a new government in Libya, a comprehensive approach that goes after the criminal gangs, a comprehensive approach where we work with you with your intelligence fusion cell in Sicily, where we'll be putting uh, people and resources into that, uh, and a comprehensive approach that looks at every aspect of this, particularly trying to break the link between people uh, taking off into a boat in the Mediterranean and getting settlement in, in Europe. So look forward to continuing to work with you uh, on that and very grateful for the good and positive discussions we've had about the future of Europe today. So thank you very much. Thank you, David. And now I think 